welcome 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 back to another nhl video today we're going to be continuing our series where we add one nhl all-star to the team that we are using which today will be the anaheim mighty ducks until they can win a stanley cup so just a reminder in this series at the end of every year if we don't win the cup we're going to go to a random simulator add an nhl all-star from a random team and then see how long it takes for the Ducks to win the Stanley Cup. And just to note, we're going to be replaying the same year over and over and over again. So it's not going to be the three different years. It's always going to be the 2021-2022 season. But the Anaheim Ducks, they just made a huge addition to their blue line. So I assumed it would be the perfect time to get into an Anaheim Ducks little franchise mode here. So let's take a look at the team that they have. We'll go to edit lines. And here we go. Head coach, we do not want the head coach's help. So obviously a young team, lots of uh, lots of areas for improvement. Probably one of the lower overall teams in the entire game. But they do have a lot of bright spots on that team. And that's really led by Trevor Zegris and Troy Terry. Um, defensively, we'll talk about that a bit later. But John Klingberg, obviously an absolute beast. And then the heart and soul of this team, definitely going to be John Gibson. One of the most underrated goalies in the entire NHL. So... Definitely gonna gonna highlight that a little bit here, but let's go over their lines. So remember, the prospects aren't really gonna matter. I'm not gonna be making any trades. I'm only gonna be rocking the roster that they have. I might look in the in the system see if there's anyone I want to bring up. Like for example, I'll probably bring up Sam Steele. Um, probably the only player there. But NHL, so Sonny Milano, first line left winger, obviously not the best first liner, but his stats aren't terrible. He can be a good top six guy as we get more and more better players on the squad. And quickly, quickly, it's always a good prediction. I'm going to predict it takes five years for the Ducks to win the Stanley Cup in this, this video. Five years. Five new players, and then they're going to be Stanley Cup champions. So Sonny Milano on that left side, 25 years old. In the middle, uh, the future of this team, Trevor Zegris. 20 years old, superstar X-Factor. He's got the um, puck on a string, I believe. Puck on a string, elite edges, and snipe. So uh, definitely one of the better players over here. And I think he's going to be a real big part of this entire offense. And as we get better players, he'll probably move down to that second line just because his overall is not the highest. But playing with him on this first line is going to be Troy Terry, another really good young player on their team who had a breakout season this year. I think he had 30-plus goals, but didn't. Kind of came out of nowhere. Kind of came out of nowhere. So, uh, Troy Terry, he's got that superstar X Factor now coming off a great year. Close quarters and wheels. So, 85 overall for Troy Terry. Second line, we got Captain Ryan Getzlab, which I'm surprised he's not a superstar X Factor for just a natural born leader um, trait, but that's okay. But Ryan Getzlab, 36, he's going to play on this team no matter how many years. We can do 50 years, he's still going to be playing at least on that fourth line. Adam Henrique in the middle, a little bit older, and Jakob Silverberg, who's got one of the worst contracts on the team. Um, third line, we got Max Jones, Lundstrom, and uh, Dominic Simon. So Max Jones kind of looking at their defensive stats, not the greatest. Lundstrom, not the greatest again. And Simon should be a little bit better, even worse than all of them. So yikes. Next up, Maxime Comtois, uh, definitely... A decent prospect. I wouldn't even say prospect, but he's a young NHLer now. He's just been hit by the injury bug so much. Two and a half defensive stats. So definitely see if we can kind of move him up and around to see if we can get him going. We got Sam Carrick here. So just not a lot of, of talent, obviously. Um, what do we got here? Two-way forward, Carrick. Two-way forward, Comtois. Power forward. Jones, power forward. Okay, okay. So we got a decent mix, but obviously we're missing a couple players, a couple pieces. I'm kind of interested to see how the team will do here. Defensively, honestly, a pretty good top two. Cam Fowler and John Klingberg, who I was surprised he signed here. Signed one year, $7 million. Technically, it's just one four point two five, but we don't have to worry about the salary. We're only going to be redoing this year over and over again. Uh, Vakanen, Kevin Shattenkirk. So I don't know too much about, uh, or is it Vicon? Vakanen. Vakanen. I cannot remember how to say his name. I used to know, though. I used to know. Uh, Josh Mahura. God, they always make fun of me, too. Look at this guy. Scheme fit. One, two, three. Get him on any line. He's ready to go. And then Jamie Drysdale, who is definitely the defensive prospect of the future for this team. Would like to see if we can get him a little bit higher in the roster there. Can we go like that, maybe? Give him the plus one. Honestly, probably not the best idea. What if I throw him up here? 
Yeah, we're going to keep him there, Schottenkirk. I don't want to give him a minus two, so. We'll just keep it like this. We'll keep it like this. We'll give him the plus one. Mahira can play there for now. And then finally talked about it a little bit earlier. But the heart and soul of this team, one of the best goalies in the entire NHL, John Gibson. So he's definitely going to be the catalyst in this uh, this franchise mode. So hoping he can be an absolute beast. But having him every year is going to make this a lot faster because defense goaltending is always going to be an issue. But let's get into year number one. I don't know what to predict here. I don't know what to predict here. We're probably going to finish fourth, fourth best mate, fourth worst, somewhere in that range here. And these, every team should be updated to July 31st is signings. So Klingberg and all that stuff should be, should be all worked out. But let's simulate, slow simulate game number one of the regular season here. Let's go first period, two nothing ducks. Trevor Zegras and Sonny Milano, a pair of our first liners. Second period, Cam Fowler. And third period, Shankirk and Troy Terry. So game number one's a good game for us. John Klingberg leads the way with a shutout. Troy Terry, four points. Let's see if we continue it. I'll get back to you at the end of this first year. With year number one in the books, the Ducks, somehow we do make the Stanley Cup playoffs. We fall in round one to the Calgary Flames. But it looks like the Colorado Avalanche, just like in real life, win the Stanley Cup as they went 16-0 in the playoffs. 4-0 sweep versus Nashville, 4-0 sweep versus, versus uh, St. Louis, 4-0 sweep versus Edmonton, and 4-0 sweep versus the god darn, uh, what's their face, the Toronto Maple Leafs. How did I forget their name? People are going to hate me. But 16-0 in the playoffs. I don't think I've ever seen that. And the funny part is that's the exact path they took in real life too they beat nashville they beat st louis they beat edmonton except obviously toronto will never get past the first round so couldn't beat them there but wow that's pretty insane there let's go take a look at the awards here so the president's trophy they also won austin matthews connor mcdavid cal mccarr wins the norris trophy mitch marner trevor zegris with the calder okay let's go love to see that so we got one award travis hamannick of the ottawa senators Okay, Connor McDavid and Austin Matthews. So I got to see these team stats. I feel like we have to see these team stats of the uh, the team. of If I can get their name proper, 16 wins from the Western Conference. The Colorado, oh my God, 5.13 goals for per game, 2.5 again, 16 and oh, there it is. Ain't no, ain't no, never lost a game in the playoffs. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. That's the craziest thing I've ever seen. Scoring-wise, though, Trevor Zegers leads the way. Troy Terry right behind him. Silverberg, 68 points. Milano, 62. So kind of a, a mixed effort from everyone. No one really dominated, but everyone had a good season. Zegers only grew one overall. But off to the spin cycle, the spin wheel, to see who we're going to be adding to the squad. All right. All right. Let's go. Spin, 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 spin. Who are we going to get here? And it's going to be, let it stop, the Carolina Hurricanes. So I'm going to add a player from Carolina. Not sure who it's going to be. Sveshnikov, Aho. I've done Aho before, so maybe I'll do Sveshnikov this time. But I'll take a look at their roster and see who we can add. And I'll see you guys in the second year. From the Carolina Hurricanes, welcome to the team, Andre Sveshnikov. It's going to go Aho, but we did it before with Aho. So Sveshnikov, perfect to go along with Zegris. And I would like to bring Troy Terry up, but it's going to give me a minus one. So I'll just leave him on the second line for now and have Silverberg play that top pairing unit unless we can get a little bit better of, of the morale. Doesn't look like it. So Zegris, Sveshnikov, going to be the sniper of this team. And uh, we'll see how we do if we can continually, or for the second year in a row, make the Stanley Cup playoffs. Let's get year number two going with Sveshnikov on the roster. And, we, you know, we'll slow simulate game number one again. Similar to regular season. So I think the combination is Zegris and Sveshnikov will be good. We got our playmaker now. We got our sniper. We can still use a little bit of help in that back end. Goaltender, he's always going to be solid. So as again, just like last year, Winnipeg in game number one here. Last year we won... Five to nothing this year. Six nothing after the first period. So a little bit better than last year. They score two. Seven to three. Six nothing after the first period. Three stars. Troy Terry for the second year in a row starts off the year with four points in his first game. But let's get into the second year simulation. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I mean, who knows? Maybe we're Stanley Cup champions. Let's go.
With the second year coming to a close here, the Ducks do not make the Stanley Cup playoffs. Who led the way? Sveshnikov leads the way. 83 points in 82 games. Zegris, Troy Terry behind. So I think we just got to unite that first line. Although Troy Terry plus 10. Henrique, not the greatest, but just not enough goal scoring this year. And then, actually, let's check who led the league in scoring here. Forgot to do that last time, but do it quickly here. Entire league, Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon, 130 points, you know, soft 130 points. They won the Stanley Cup once again, so back-to-back -back years. And let's see what we did in the playoffs. Holy God. Playoffs, so 33 points in 19 games. So, yeah, yeah, great year for him. Barkov, great year for him too. Um, but going into our record, we went 34 41 and 7 so not the best year let's go back to the spinner and see who we're adding to the squad back to the spinner we are let's go come on give me someone good give me nathan mckinnon the way he's been playing spin and it's going to be the seattle kraken so probably not the best team to get but we'll find out who we're going to be adding from the kraken and seeing what we can do here from the Seattle Kraken, we welcome Adam Larson to the Anaheim Mighty Ducks to bolster up that defensive core just a little bit here. We got a couple of loose pieces. I was thinking Bjorkstrand from the Kraken, but ended up going Adam Larson here, seeing what can we do to, to kind of work on this morale in that third line. Not really anything, unfortunately, but I'm okay with Adam Larson on the team. A little big defenseman to uh to help shut it down what's his defensive stats yeah four stars so pretty good obviously 55 face offs gonna bring him down just a little bit here but adam larson welcome to the team hopefully 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 you can be one of the missing pieces defensively for us and let's look at these lines okay so we want to get troy terry on that first line oh it's not giving us a minus one morale this time i like to see that so who has a better face off rating though so 70 73 for zegris and, uh, okay, so we'll keep it like that. Second line, I don't think Brian Getzloff ever really does anything for us, but we really got to work on that, that 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 top or bottom nine because that's not pretty. At first line's okay, still not great. I, I predicted five years. This is year number three now, and, uh, yeah, five years. We're going to need some uh, <laughs> We're gonna need some help here, but let's go with year number three. We're not, you know, we will. We will. Let's slow simulate game Number one here, two and zero in game number one. Just saying, last time we we won seven to three before six nothing. So let's see, we are five nothing. First period, one to nothing. Derek or Dominic Simon. Second period, Adam Henrique. And third period, three nothing. Look at John Gibson go in game number one. He is elite. But let's get it going. Year number three starts now. Come on, playoff team, maybe. Let's go. Another tough year for the Ducks with year three coming to a close here as once again we do not make the Stanley Cup playoffs but the New Jersey Devils go on to win the Stanley Cup so a new team other than the Colorado Avalanche this year we go 42 and 40 so probably if that's 42 33 and 7 we make the playoffs but unfortunately lost every game in regulation leading the way was Sveshnikov 80 points Troy Terry 68 Zegras 64 points Ryan Getzloff actually played really well 57 points but I think what we need this year is definitely someone in that top six who can score goals and carry that second line or or a bona fide first line player to play alongside Zegras and Sveshnikov or Troy Terry and Sveshnikov. So let's get back to the spinner and see who we get. We got the Kraken last time. Not the best, not the best, but this time I'm predicting we're going to get the Sharks. And the, please not the Canadians. Please keep going. Go. Oh, Montreal. Not, not, not the best one there. Not the best one. Continuing to bolster this Anaheim roster, we did end up going with Nick Suzuki, from the Montreal Canadiens for year number four. So we have three really young players, all 85 overall. Unfortunately, Suzuki is not a superstar X Factor, but Troy Terry and Trevor Zegris are. So I'm going to keep Nick Suzuki on that second line. I think that's where he'll kind of max out or kind of be that. that that'll be a spot, maybe even a third line. Uh, he does want to play fourth line, but that's just not going to happen. Um, look at the rest of the team. So it's getting there slowly but surely. Again, we can still use at least one more really good player up front fill out the bottom bottom six a little bit more defensively looking a little bit better how it's set up now but can we put larson up on the okay, table no. so we'll get a minus one there I'm trying to work with this morale a little bit to get a little bit of an advantage but 
not really uh, working out to my advantage there. And then, of course, in net still got John Gibson and Alex Stolarz. So let's get into year number four here. I predict the five years. So this is kind of the last year we can mess around and hope that we get someone good or we can just win it here. Let's go. Positive news in year number four. We're back in the Stanley Cup playoffs to play the Calgary Flames once again. And once again, they take care of us. But this time in five games as we fall four to one, our record honestly wasn't that good. 37, 33, and 12. Just those overtime losses kind of carried us through. But statistically, we're not a good scoring team. 64 points led the way. Troy Terry, Zegris, and Suzuki all basically all on the heels there for, for top score. Uh, Henrik did well. Getzlav, but Klingberg, plus 15. So Klingberg, you know, I mean, he did his thing. But just not enough goals from our team this year. And in the cage, I imagine John Gibson did pretty well. But let's take a look here. Debrinkat, 77 assists. Oshi, 87 assists. Cut Ovi, 120 points. Crazy how much, even though the simulation is the exact same every year, same season over and over again, how it changes so much. Um, and then goaltenders. Let's take a look who is the best goaltender. And it's obviously going to be, let's go save percentage, Corpus Allo, Vasilevsky, Grice, Samsonov, okay, okay, a little bit of interesting, Jonathan Quick and, and Peterson kind of split the duties and played really well together, Peterson a little bit better than Quick, but not the best year, not the best year, awards, I don't imagine we won anything here, but we always got to check, Ovi, Ovi, Quinn Hughes, Debrinkat, Michael Bunting, Mitch Marner, Travis Hamnick again, he seems to win that one a lot, um, Faye, Ryan O'Reilly, Alexander Ovechkin, and Alexander Ovechkin. All right, all right. We know what to do. Time to get to the back of the spinner. This is the year I predict we win, year number five. So let's switch it over and see what we get this. All right, all right. We need something. We need something good. We need something good. We need something good here. Sidney Crosby? Come on, don't know. Pittsburgh? Oh. This close to Sidney Crosby on the team, but we get the Philadelphia Flyers. From the Philadelphia Flyers, we have added Sean Couturier to the roster. It was tough. I didn't know if I want to go with Sean Couturier or Tony D'Angelo. I feel like an offensive defenseman back here would be very helpful to play alongside that top four and just kind of fill it out properly, but... Ended up going with Sean Couturier, primarily 88 overall, superstar X-Factor, and has unbelievable defensive stats. So couldn't really turn that up uh, or turn that down. So let's get into year number five, the year I predicted to win the Stanley Cup. So hopefully the team doesn't let me down here. Let's go, boys. Troy Terry gets that first line start just because of morale. So let's see what we can do. Year number five is on the way. Year five is our best year to date. We go all the way to the Western Conference Finals where we fell to this powerhouse Colorado Avalanche. But the Rangers become Stanley Cup champions in this universe, leading the way. We had 52 wins too. Again, zero overtime shootout losses, which is crazy. Um, leading the way, Sveshnikov, 90 points. Couturier, 80 points. Zegras, 70. Troy Terry, 70. So everyone kind of had a step up this year. Love to see that. Plus 43 for Cam Fowler. So that first line defensive pairing, really good for us this year. So I think, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're so close. We're so close. But leading the league in scoring this year was Brad Marchand with 109 points. Well, honestly, the top three players were all the Buffalo, or not the Buffalo, the Boston Bruins. So pretty crazy to see there. But yeah, not too bad. Let's go take a look at the awards, see if we won anything there. Anaheim Ducks. No Anaheim, no Anaheim. There we go. Anaheim, we got Trevor Zegras. John Gibson wins the Vesna and the William M. Jennings Trophy. And that looks like it's it. So not too bad hardware-wise, but you know how it is. Back to the spinner. Who are we going to get? I feel like we're one really good player away and we won. We're going to win the Stanley Cup. Like I feel like we're right there on the hump and we're going to get... Please keep going. Please keep going. We're going to get the Buffalo Sabres. So we haven't got the best teams, you know, Buffalo, Montreal, the Seattle Kraken, but the Buffalo Sabres have one player in mind. I'm going to add him to the roster and we're going to get into year number six. Got a new top dog on defense now from the Buffalo Sabres. Welcome to the team, the youngster, Rasmus Dahlin. He's going to be playing alongside with John Klingberg. I'm surprised he's not any sort of superstar X Factor. But hey, I don't make the ratings. Um, so he's going to be playing Klingberg. Offensively, we're going to go with Suzuki on that top line. Do we want to go Suzuki or do we want to go Zegras? 
Let's go Zegris. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Trevor Zegris in the middle. Suzuki can par, probably play middle. 75 faceoffs. Yeah, we'll keep him there. Second line. Bring up Ryan Getzlav. Uh, actually, let's bring up. Can we bring up Adam Henrique? I think that would be a better idea. Getzlav can play center here, and yeah, the rest seems about right. So there it is. That is gonna be the roster for a year number six. Let's get right into it. Oh no. With the year coming to an end, we missed the playoffs by one point due to the St. Louis Blues having 13 overtime losses. A good year, but one point out of the playoffs. Leading the way once again was Andre Sveshnikov. Sean Couturier did really well too, and Trevor Zegers. So that first line dominates. Second line, they were okay. Troy Terry minus four. Don't like to see that. Cam Fowler definitely wasn't as good as he was last year. Rasmus Dahlin helped out 52 points. But we do miss the playoffs once again in year number six. Just when you thought everything was turning around. But leading the league is the Edmonton duo, which is not surprising. Got Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisel, Nate McKinnon, Nathan McKinnon right there, Sidney Crosby and Alexander Ovechkin. Back to the spinner. Give me one of these five players, please. Any of them. Give me McDavid. I'd love McDavid, please. Here's hoping. We got Buffalo last time. That means we're due for the Edmonton Oilers and Connor McDavid. No, 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 not the doubles. The Predators. Okay, that's good. Roman Yossi seems like the most obvious pick here, but we need help scoring. So maybe Philip Forsberg. We're going to have to look into this a little bit. You can't turn down Roman Yossi. At the end of the day, I know we didn't really need a defenseman, but look how sick our defensive core is now. Philip Forsberg was an option. He's 88 overall, superstar X-Factor. But Roman Yossi, come on. He's top three, top four defenseman in the entire NHL. You cannot turn him down here. So welcome to the team, Roman Yossi, 92 overall. He is now our new best player. John Gibson moves into that second slot. And we're going to keep that first line together because they played well last year. Second line, we're going to go with Milano, Suzuki, Terry. We just need one more player instead of Milano here it would be nice to get one other one other super good player there but you, it's how how the how it goes okay it's how it goes you can't always have the best 90 plus overall overalls for everyone but this is now year number seven so let's see what the boys can do and if they can rally back to the Stanley Cup playoffs here I'll catch you guys at the end of the year which will be 10 minutes for me and one second for you we made it back we made it back to the playoffs <laughs> But we fall in Game 7 to our kryptonite in this series, outside of making the playoffs. The kryptonite, the Calgary Flames, who take us down in 7 games. And the Tampa Bay Lightning, our Stanley Cup champions. Leading the way, though, Roman Yossi, 80 points in the 82 games. Sveshnikov and Deline right behind. So, Yossi and Deline as a 1-2 pairing. I like that. I like that. It's going well. Um, probably grew, yeah, 88 overall. Yossi, 94 overall. So, we got something going with our defenseman. In the spinner this year, we need, we need, we need, we need a goal scorer, some offensive presence on the team. Awards-wise, I imagine Roman Yossi took home. There it is, the Norris Trophy. Anything else there? Nathan McKinnon probably led the league in scoring, but that's about it. So let's get back to the spinner as we prepare for year number eight. I hope it doesn't take this long in real life for the Anaheim Ducks. Actually, I do because... As a Sens fan, they took everything from us in 2006, 2007, so you know, it's only fair. Okay, the spinner. The spinner gods, give me someone good here, please. The last time we got the National Predators, this time we were one slot away from getting Connor McDavid, but we get the Red Wings, who actually have a couple good offensive players that we can choose. Welcome to the squad, Dylan Larkin from the Detroit Red Wings in year number eight. You know, that first line's looking pretty dangerous now. Couturier, Sveshnikov, and Dylan Larkin. Honestly, Couturier doesn't normally put up the most points, but he is a really good defensive player, so hoping he can really help out there. The second line, we're going with the kids. We got Suzuki, Zegris, and Troy Terry. Which one has the best face-off rating? It is going to be Nick Suzuki, so we'll throw him in the middle. Center left wing, we'll throw right wing there. And then center for Suzuki. Third line, we got Milano, Henrik, Silver Bullet, or Silver Bird, Max Jones, Getzlav, and Zach Ashton Reese. Finally, defensively, we're going to go with Deline and Yossi, 1 2. Then we'll go Klingberg, Larson, Fowler, and, um, and Chattenkirk there. So that is our team for year number eight. Let's see what the boys can do. 
with the newest edition of Dylan Larkin. It might be the year we are in the Stanley Cup Finals versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Game 7 on home ice for the Stanley Cup. Who is going to prevail? Can the Ducks get it done in year number 8? Or are we going back to the drawing board here? Let's get it underway. Game 7, Pittsburgh in Anaheim. Winner takes home the Stanley Cup. First period, 3-2 to two for the Ducks. Sveshnikov, Klingberg, and Adam Larson. We went up 2-0. Give up two late goals, but we get a big goal at the end of the period. Love to see that. Second period, we score two. They get one. Troy Terry and Dylan Larkin. We are 20 minutes away from completing the challenge with the Anaheim Ducks. Jeff Carter gets a goal, and Mike Matheson ties it up. And Raquel gets a goal. Three goals in a minute to take the lead. Four goals. Come on, Gibson. You get pulled. Power play. Come on. Oh, no. The collapse. Zach Aston Reese. We got two minutes. Can we even it up here, please? Ah! This is awful. Awful. A 5-3 to three lead in the third period of the Game 7 Stanley Cup Finals, and we let in four goals, Gibson. You're supposed to be my rock, buddy. No, 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 no. Sveshnikov had a great playoff, so 33 points, 24 games, but... Back to the drawing board, it is 99 points for Dylan Larkin, leads the way. Katurian Sveshnikov also played really well. Yossi plays well. Zegris has a great breakout campaign. But Game 7, Stanley Cup Finals, and Pittsburgh, Sidney Crosby. Oh, man. Who, who led the way in scoring? Who led the way in scoring in the entire league this year? It was Brad Marchand, Johnny Gaudreau, and Alexander Ovechkin. Back to the drawing board. Let's go see what we get for the net ninth year. Who is going to be our newest addition? Uh, who is the next player to join the Anaheim Mighty Ducks? Give me someone good, please. Who is it going to be? Tampa Bay. Is it going to stop there? We have a lot of options here. It was a tough decision. It was a tough decision. But at the end of the day, I went with a sniper to play alongside Sveshnikov and Couturier. And welcome to the team, Nikita Kucherov. I really, I was going to go Hedman. I was really, I was torn between Hedman and Kucherov. Hedman's a 93 overall, but the combination of Hedman and Yossi just seemed way too good to turn down. Vasilevsky was always a good choice too, but I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna blame that game seven John Gibson loss on, on first time jitters, and we're gonna get back on it, and we're gonna win a Stanley Cup this year. So we're going Couturier, Kucherov, Sveshnikov, Larkin, Zegris, Troy Terry. Suzuki will play on that third line. Defensively, we're gonna go Klingberg and Yossi just because Dalene gives us a minus one, so we keep it like that. Then we got Dalene, Larson, Shattenkirk, and Cam Fowler, of course, in the cage. Still got John Gibson. Hopefully, he doesn't screw us over like last year but let's get into year number nine here we gotta finish it this year one game off the stanley cup last year but with the addition of kucherov i expect i expect greatness well the simulation just keeps getting more and more interesting in year nine with the super stack team we miss the stanley cup playoffs we finish with a record of 43 33 and 6 but not good enough to advance to the second or to the playoffs uh, Kucherov leads the way, 91 points. Yossi had a great campaign, 74 points. Sveshnikov and Kuturier need someone to help out Kucherov on that first line. Larkin, Zegris, Troy Terry. No one really had a great year except for really Yossi and Kucherov. Oh, I cannot believe we did not make the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs there. Uh, Matthews leads the way, Ranton and Mitch Marner, Ovi, and Sebastian Ajo. So maybe we should have taken him instead of Sve Sveshnikov. But on to year number 10 here damn i was not expecting to miss the playoffs there especially one game after we were one game away from the Stanley cup the year before so interesting the way nhl simulation works though back to the fun spinner though let's get it spinning it's like a roulette table give me the senators why not oh lightning again okay okay so it's gonna be the st louis blues interesting a couple of good options there ducks have a new first line center from the st louis blues we have decided to pick up Ryan O'Reilly. I was going to go with Bushnevich, but Ryan O'Reilly just kind of fits that style of Couturier, 
He's, you know, that one-two punch of great defensive centers, I think is going to be very beneficial in the playoffs and just helping the team lock it down. So we went with Ryan O'Reilly, got really good stats, five stars in defense, five star puck skills, almost five star senses. So uh, what I really like is that that poise, he's going to be good in those in the playoffs. So Kucherov, O'Reilly, and Sveshnikov, you are our new line number one. And can we get Dahlin? Let's get Dahlin up there. Let's get Dahlin up there. Cam Fowler, no. No, can't do that. Don't want to... No, yeah, no. Klingberg's got to be top two. He's got to be top two. We're going to put him on the right side, though. If I go like this, though... Wait, wait. I can go like that. Actually, I'll keep, I'd rather the minus... The plus one over there. So that's the team in... This is the decade season. The 10th season. I mean, if this team misses the playoffs... I, I, I don't know what to say. This might be the year. We are once again in the Stanley Cup Finals, up 3-1 to one to the Toronto Maple Leafs. Let's slow sim here. We just have to win one of the next three. First period, 2-2, two to two, Suzuki Kucherov, 3-2 Leafs. They win game number five. Okay, so 3-2 series now, 3-2 series. We can still close them out here. We have to close them out here because we're on home ice now. They have home ice in game seven. Game six. Anaheim, Toronto, Stanley Cup is in the building, could be one in front of the home front fans. Can we get it done? First period, 2-2, two two, Silverberg and Couturier, Matthews and Bunting. Second period, Matthews and Kerfoot, one from Silverberg again, but down 4-3 to three in game six. Come on, there it is, Nikita Kucherov, but William Nylander answers back 11 seconds left, but Kucherov answers back. 10 seconds later, 15 seconds later, and Dylan Larkin gets another one. 6-5 to five here. This third period's insane. Oh, my God. Jason Spezza, the, the legend, gets it tied up at 6. This third period has been insane. We are able to kill off the power play. Power play with two minutes left. Do we have a hero in us? And we are going to overtime. If we score, we win the Stanley Cup. Power play, penalty kill. This game's insane. 6-6. Six to six. Toronto fighting. Come on. There. We did it. We did it. Thank God. Sveshnikov scores in overtime on the power play. 7-6 to six victory. Kucherov, Silverberg, one of the original members, clutches up for us. And there it is. The Anaheim Ducks. It took 10 years. It took 10 years. But we are Stanley Cup champions kucherov leads the way 31 points in 24 games in the postseason but let's take a look at that playoff tree round number one we take down the uh, canucks in seven the oilers in five in round two west conference finals we take down the minnesota wild and then the stanley cup finals game six we come through clutch and sveshnikov is the hero as we are stanley cup champions let's go there it is any awards for the team? Leon Drysettle, big year. Trevor Zegers, and then John Gibson wins the Consmite. So after having a hor horrendous last year, and then the third period of Game Seven, he comes back and wins the Consmite. Love to see that, and nothing else for us. But statistically, Kucherov leads the way in the regular season as well. Ryan O'Reilly, great year. Roman Yossi, plus forty-two. Larkin did not do well. Sveshnikov. I don't really care. You had 38 goals, their team in scoring, and got the overtime winner. But that is going to do it. Took 10 years. The longest one by far. The longest one by far. But what do you guys think? Who should we do next? We've done Ottawa. We've done Buffalo. We've done Arizona. Now we've done the Ducks. So who should we do next? And as always, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll catch you next one. Cheers.